everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here with me once again if you happen to be a returning viewer subscriber if you happen to be joining me for the very first time thank you so much for being here with me my name is Donella and of course this is my world of beauty here on YouTube so the hot months are here very very hot months of the year are finally here so during this time of the year i like to um switch up my makeup routine and it's very very important that you switch up your makeup routine during this time i know there are some persons who probably maybe have to go up uh a shade with your foundation um yeah it happens to everybody it's okay it happens to me too during this time you have to go up maybe a shade in your foundation but that's okay we all have different techniques that we have to do our different techniques that we have to incorporate during these really hot months and one of the things that I've learned over the years as a makeup artist is that I have to change up my makeup routine during these extremely hot months so there are some things that I put in and some things that I take out it all depends on um, your skin type because I have an oily baby right here you know I've had her all my life and I know how oily she is and you know certain things that she 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 um she needs a little bit more of during this time and some and some things that she just needs a little less of during this time if you are interested in seeing how i created this summer makeup look or if you just generally want to be entertained then please stay tuned <laughs> first we have to prep our skin and get it ready for the makeup application and one of the things i love to do like right after i've showered i i just took a shower feel nice and fresh <laughs> i love to apply my moisturizer while my skin is still while my face is still damp and i'm going to be using my CeraVe moisturizing cream for this look so i'm just going to add just a little bit of this just this because a little bit goes a long way and i'm just going to just rub it in with my fingers and basically apply it all over my face trust me a little bit of this goes a long way particular day um if you're going outside i would always apply i would always apply sunscreen right after i've applied my moisturizer so i'm going to go in with my neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen which has um the SPF in this is 100. So I'm just going to go in with two finger strokes. And this is what, you know, estheticians, etc., recommend whenever you're applying sunscreen to always apply two fingers worth of um, sunscreen. So I'm going to go in with that once again and rub it in nice and get it nice and lathery and apply it to my face by the way i like to go down and just add a little bit to my neck because um if i find when you just apply sunscreen to your face only your face is nice and smooth and it has its own little color going on and then when you reach down here and your neck black black bad so i love to apply just a little bit to my neck area and make sure it's nicely rubbed in on on my face as well because Whenever I apply this right after I apply the CeraVe moisturizer, it tends to leave a little bit of a, a white cast. Now on its own, it doesn't it doesn't do that, but whenever I apply it right after the moisturizer, yeah, it tends to leave a little bit of a white cast. So I have to really pay attention and maybe go in for a minute or so just to make sure it's nice and yeah. So I like to just go in and fill my eyebrows in and allow the moisturizer and the sunscreen to do what it needs to do and then I'm going in next with a primer and uh, uh -huh, y'all be glad to know that this baby is finally oh wait hold on hold on there we're getting some we get... what we're getting some out we got some out we got some out okay we got some out so <laughs> <laughs> no, you're laughing at me. I do have a new one. See, this is the new one. Okay, but I had to make sure this baby was done completely. Like we're living in some strange and serious times. Okay, we're living in guava crop time. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this. I'm actually going to mix primers for this look. Okay, so one and a half, right? Yeah, I finally opened this. I finally opened the new one, so I can stop. Um, rusting me now okay i just needed to use my stuff so i'm going to go in with two primers for this look so i'm going to go in with that one from milk and just blend this all the way in and next i'm going to go in with a little bit of my fenty pro filter mattifying primer because i do want to just bring this look down just a little bit and i'm, I'm only going to go in with one pump 
So I'm going to take this and lather it around and just basically press it in the areas where I know I get most oily. So next, I'm going to go in and basically powder down uh, uh, my primer. And this is th this is not anything new. Like this is not a new trick. I've seen plenty of um, YouTubers do this. Jackie Aina does this. Alyssa Ashley. Uh, quite a few persons who actually have um, oily skin. I know actually does this trick. I've seen some YouTubers who have combination skin. You know, some persons who probably maybe get just oily in one particular area and um, they're their skin is fine in the other areas they tend to do this trick as well and it's basically just to control the excess oil so I'm, what i'm going to do i'm going to go in with my pat mcgrath labs sublime sorry it's not sublime it's skin fetish sublime perfection setting powder this one is the shade medium deep and i'm just going to go in with a little bit of that that this powder is like really powerful so i'm only going to go in with this amount maybe i might not even use all of that let me just take a fluffy blending brush and I'm basically going to tap it in um, the areas where I get oily the most. Just add it right there. And this is, because this um, powder basically matches my skin, this is also going to control the amount of um, complexion product that I apply to my skin because this is already basically applying a bit of coverage. So I won't need to go in with um, uh, a whole lot of foundation, maybe just like maybe one pump. This is doing a hell of a job covering um, uh my skin on its own but i know because i have all this skin i can't just leave it on its own just like that i mean there are powder uh foundations but this is the powder. i was thinking of adding um a combination of these two maybelline superstay foundations but because the days are so hot and you guys know we're still living under a mask wearing mandate i feel like the best thing for my skin overall is for me to apply something that's a little bit lighter because the days are hot and you do want to give your skin a little bit of breathing room and even more breathing room now that we have to wear masks so i'm thinking of using my fenty beauty easy drop blurring skin tint i think this probably might be the best thing for me to wear during these extremely hot months or in some days i just go you know makeup less apply a little bit of this skin blurring um tint from fenty and i'm not going to go in too heavy at first because i realized that this um it has a, a bit of a dewy finish so i'm going to go in just a little bit first and see if i need a little bit more coverage afterwards so like, i'm going to go in with my real technique brush and basically press that into my skin don't need any more this looks like it's going to cover oh why did i put it on my eyebrow oh i'm gonna have to fix that okay i just literally took off the tail off of <laughs> that piece of brow so i'll have to fix that so let me just blend this in and fix that okay this baby's fixed she's fixed she's fixed she's to go in with um something that i haven't used in quite a bit in any of my videos i'm going in with this aj crimson complexion this cream complexion oh my god listen when i wipe my things off so much i literally rub off the name but this this is actually a, a cream contour palette from aj crimson and i haven't used this in a while but as you can see i use a whole lot of it <laughs> yeah i use a whole lot of it but i haven't used it in a while and i'm thinking of just adding just a little bit of the lighter um cream product right here that, that's really because i love the yellowness of this and i feel like it's just going to really make um everything really pop you know what i realized i didn't add the spice rum to cover up the darkness underneath my eye first i wonder if this aj crimson um palette will do the trick let's see if it does the trick i'm just going to do the creamy product i'm thinking i could just um, basically blend it out real easy it's really it's uh, yeah it's super creamy and it melts i haven't used this product in a while so i almost forgot how amazing aj crimson's products really are well, i really really like the creamy finish of this and i'm just going to add this a little bit right here to create that nice v-shape right there okay 
drag her down just put a little bit do i really want to put that you know i mean ugh. yeah some of us still have to wear masks still so i'm just thinking that we probably we shouldn't worry about down here in and powdered this look completely down so i'm going to go in first by setting the under eye concealer and you guys know which which translucent powder i'm going to be using don't even bother ask yes i'm going to be using my fenty especially now during these hot months and you're creating like a summer look you definitely need a, a translucent powder or a setting powder that's really going to keep things in place and i highly recommend this one from fenty and yes i also highly recommend this one from pat mcgrath lab so let me just go in with a little bit of um this a fenty powder this one is in the shade honey i'm going in with honey first let me find my small sponge yes where are you baby there you are let me find my small sponge I just basically press this in underneath my eye and the sponge is damp and i love to apply my powder with my sponge being damp because that way i get to press the powder all the way in especially since it's a creamy product and uh, yeah you really want your um, complexion products to be pressed all the way in i feel like um baking around this time isn't really necessary that's just my personal opinion you don't have to agree with me i feel like baking around this time isn't really necessary you just press the product into your skin it's allowed you to do what it needs to do um, if you have oily skin you definitely cannot skip this extra step do not skip it any powder that you're comfortable with uh that is of course your skin's complexion that you would use to set all over your face now because i use the pat mcgrath labs powder underneath and it basically matches my complexion i'm also going to use that on top as a uh, all over face powder using the same brush and basically tapping that powder into my skin i'm just going to be using it on the outer perimeter of my face where i didn't apply <coughs> why do i feel like i just swallowed this oh my god <coughs> next with a creamy product now i know it sounds basically counterintuitive because hey girl you you have oily skin you're adding powders to control the oils but you're still using creamy products that are more liquidy that tends to that tends to turn more liquidy on your skin but you actually um work with creamy products especially if you have oily skin when your natural skin oils and those creamy products meet honey you have a hell of a glow you're just everything just looks absolutely some i still want to look you know nice and glowed up etc but i still want to control my excess oils so i'm going to go in with a creamy contour product first which is this um what is this called this is the <coughs> child powder still in my mouth the black opal true color mineral matte cream powder and i'm just going to add a little bit of that basically to you know boss up my blonde all right after that yes i'm going to go in with another um creamy well this is not cream this is actually um liquid this is liquid highlight this one is from maybelline and i'm just going to go in with a little bit of that right here right there because i'm looking for that really nice summer glow yeah i'm really looking really looking for that summer glow so i'm going to go in with that and i'm going to use um a powder brush basically and just blend that in this liquid highlight but it doesn't it's not really showing up on my skin I move on right i do want to go in with my second bit of setting powder underneath here in the shade banana so before i move on let me just add a bit of banana right here yeah i still do this i still do this i still go in with a second translucent powder to make everything pop that liquid highlight didn't work so i'm going to go back to either my nars or my you know what i've been meaning to try this is trend that's trending is, do you say it like that trend is trending there's a trending look where you use a lip gloss as a blush all you have to do is just mix it with a little bit of um concealer like a little bit of your concealer and it just it just comes through um i don't know if you guys remember this from some some tutorials ago months ago i was trying to use this um as a lip color but it just wasn't working out ma'am it just wasn't working out it just wasn't coming through so i'm thinking of maybe turning it into a blush what do you guys think yeah i'm thinking of turning it into a blush especially with this trend going um trending this trend tre yes listen i say how i say it. this trend is trending okay good should i just 
use it without the concealer see how it looks without the concealer do i need to add a little bit of concealer to it i don't think i do Ooh, she is hot she is hot girl she is hot i'm thinking it i'm thinking it well, i'm thinking of using a bit a flush of this mac paint pot like right over it i probably should have put the mac paint pot underneath first but let's see how it looks on top of the um liquid lipstick that i turned into a blush let me see what it looks on top of it oh i'm liking it i'm loving it Ooh, i think i really like this i think i really really like this i'm gonna drag this down a little bit because it's looking a little bit too rectangular and i want it to look more like the shape of my cheeks that's it that's it that's it that's it one of the things that i realized is because i apply powder underneath and um over my foundation underneath my foundation and over my foundation i really look like i have a bit of a glow in the areas where i expect the glow to come through but the rest of my face is like really matte which is good because that's what we want we want your skin to be matte so that you're able to go out you know for and however long you need to be out and you know your makeup just stays in place and we are getting some wear i'm thinking of what it is i want to do to my eye because at this point my skin looks so good i'm just like i forgot about my eyes i forgot about you all right so i went ahead and created this really pretty pink shimmery eye real quick which is i think you know is in keeping with the whole summer vibe summer theme look that i'm doing here real quick and yes miss patty graph labs um eyeshadow palette is back again yes miss patty's in the house and i went in with this muted pink matte shade right here as my first as my transitioning color not the first but the only transition in color i just need a little bit of pink right here to pick it up a little bit and yeah she is like yeah she shows up pinky shade right here it almost looks like a pinky purple it almost looks like it has like specks of purple in there but when i wiped it with my finger i didn't see any so it looks kind of like iridescent maybe just like cheap i'm assuming it probably changes maybe if i'm out in the daylight or something I realize that a lot of pat mcgrath's um eyeshadow palettes are like iridescent shades so this probably might be one of them because she is super pigmented and by the way i didn't i didn't get to do all of it with my finger i like to go in with my finger first and then just use a brush to um cover the areas where my finger can't reach which is mostly in the corners and then down here by my lash line just so that we cover up the bit of skin that might be showing in between and then i went in with this purple shade right here you know i felt like i needed just a little bit of dampness on the edge i didn't go in like with too much and just dip the other end of this brush and it's adding just a little bit of purple on the end right oh i didn't dip the brush properly now <laughs> i just added a bit of purple like right there on the end it wasn't anything like you know I like i went in too dark with that one so i have to darken this one over here make a mistake over here i have to fix it on the other eye as well to go in with my liquid liner to line my eye and then I pop on my lashes real quick and i went in with the a bit more of the banana powder like i said i would you know just to get rid of that excess shininess because i want the glow to just be in this specific area right here so when i turn my head you guys can see the glow i don't want it to be i'm going to go in next and prime my bottom lashes you know the struggling babies here to the bottom okay and for my bottom lash areas i'm going to be going in with another maybelline product i've had these for you know since they came out i don't know why i think it's because i'm a little bit obsessed with the other maybelline mascara this one is the lash sensational sky high mascara limitless length full volume okay yeah my bottom lashes definitely need some volume you know because hmm yeah, so let me try this. Ooh, I love the wand. Ooh, the wand looks exceptionally good. And she is, ooh, ooh. We've got some volume. Yes, we do. Let's continue. Oh, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I have bottom lashes. They have volume. They have sky high. What is it called? They have sky high volume. Ooh, what? bit of my artist couture um diamond lights finisher i think i want to use this as my highlight for this look 
she is just so shimmery so good for the skin she does have a bit of, she does go on just a little bit i think i'm applying this it, it looks a little bit grainy using that brush so maybe i should go in and use my fan brush yeah to kind of just blend it better yeah the fan brush is doing a much better job so let me just uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay then we got that pop 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 what is it called snack crackle and pop going on here oh my god God, if feeling yourself was a sin, I am sinning constantly every time I do these videos. I'm sinning constantly. I love this dual um, lip pencil from Amuse Beauty. Is Amuse? 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 Am it's probably Amuse. Beauty, the brown uh, the brown shade on this looks gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to decide which one of these Fenty colors would look good for this look. I'm thinking it's either going to be this shade. This pinky shade is called Taffy Tees. Or maybe this nude shade, which is called Baby Boots. Oh, I wonder if this one would look good too. Cake, cake Chic. Hmm. I should combine both of these and see how they look. So let me start off by using this pinky shade right here. Lolly, it's just like, um, it smells like Jolly Ranch and it makes you want to eat the entire thing. A bit more pink, so this is just giving me glass. That's all I'm getting, just glass. I need a little bit more pink, so let me go in and find a pinky shade. Let me get a pinky shade, let me get a pinky shade, let me get a pinky shade, let me get a pinky shade. Okay, let me get this one here from um, Artist Couture. This is called Thirst Trap. This one looks like the type of pink I'm looking for. Let's see. I'm liking Thirst Trap. I'm really liking this beigey undertone that it has. So I'm thinking maybe I could play up with a little bit of this Ruby Milk, just a little bit of it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now we got something, something going on, and then I'm going to add a little bit of this baby boots top of it mm -mm 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 -mm. it's giving me that it's giving me that uh, a really nasty line i'm thinking it's because you know those glasses have different consistency do that you know it completely mutes out the pink that i just applied so what does that mean i should just go you know what let me just add baby boots and see <laughs> okay we got a little bit 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 a a little bit of something something going on here and i really love how these glasses are like really glossy hmm hmm i like this i really like it i'm back and um this is a completed look now in most cases i would definitely say go in with a setting spray at least twice maybe before and after you apply your your foundation but because i know the um because I know the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, which is my favorite setting spray at the moment, it does give a bit of a dewy finish. And um, the whole point of this video is um, creating a summer look that controls your oils and basically using a bit more powder on your skin if you have oily skin like myself to help to control those oils and help your makeup to last longer especially you know because we have to worry about the sun and the humidity and um, also we now also have to worry about our makeup coming off now that we are you know we are wearing masks everywhere that we have to go so I, I don't want to apply the setting spray but I, I would say that if you have a mattifying setting spray or if you have a setting spray that doesn't actually give you a dewy finish then please go in with a setting spray at least twice before and after you apply your foundation which is really going to make your look last much much longer wow it's raining that means the lord is telling me listen don't know you've been sitting here for quite some time now skylarking doing all kind of things saying all kind of foolishness it's time for you to wrap this up so let me wrap this up <laughs> let me wrap up this video and be quiet if you guys did enjoy this a very simple summer makeup tutorial please be sure to give me a big thumbs up on your way out and also be sure to drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know your favorite part of this video or if you did learn something or if you just uh, enjoyed the video overall please also be sure to drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know that 
by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you happen to be visiting for the first time and you haven't clicked the subscribe button as yet please go ahead and click the subscribe button on your way out until my next video tutorial which is next week yes i promise i'm really trying to be consistent here um i promise you guys i'll have a video next week thanks so much for being here with me once again and i'll talk to you guys real real soon on my next upload bye bye